Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our playthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. In our last episode, we had gone around to most of the shrines and gotten a vision. Uh, I'm not sure if we're successful, if we're ready to be the Avatar or not, based on those visions, but it's time for us to dive into some of the dungeons. I think we're going to dive into the dungeons. Again, we have to find some magic orbs, if you remember. I'm going to pull up my notes here and take a look at them. As, uh, the music stops in the background all of a sudden, just so you can hear the dulcet tones of my voice. So, what we have is... We have a couple magic orbs. There's magic orbs we have to find. We have to seek the codex, and uh, we've got some other magic items we need to find around. So, I'm going to dive into the dungeons, and one of the main dungeons I want to go into first is the dungeon of Hi Hithloth. So, if I read the entry for Hithloth from the clue book that comes with the game, the entry says, The dungeon of Hithloth is perhaps the most curious or mysterious of underground Britannia. There are two entrances that are known of, one out in the back of the castle of our liege lord, and the other on the Isle of the Abyss. It is said that the tunnels run far beneath the oceans into a great distance. Indeed, one must begin at the very bottom of this dungeon and work upwards to the surface, which leaves one at the furthest reaches of our land. There are altar rooms of truth, love, and courage to be found in the depths there. Now, we're not looking for the altar rooms yet. That's going to be later. But, we are looking to see if we can find out uh, what is going on in the rest of Britannia. And to do that, I want to get a new form of travel, which is the balloon. And if I understand correctly, if we go through Hithloth, we'll be able to find the balloon. So let's get headed in to the dungeon. So we're going to enter Castle Britain. And I've done a little scouting around to, uh, oh, I'm going to adjust the headphones here so my mic's not too hot, hopefully. I've done a little bit of scouting around to find the way in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head up, and we're going to go right. If you remember, to the left is where Lord British hangs out. But we're going to go to the right here, we're going to open this door. And I want you to notice something. If you see this brick above my head, you'll notice how the tiny brick... Uh, in this little section of wall above my head, that tiny little brick, like a dot, is right in the center of that wall. And of that little square of bricks. That little dot brick in the center is what indicates it's a secret passage. Had to look that up, had no idea, so watch. Boop! Right on through. We head up north again, you'll notice here is another one of those wall sections that has a little dot in the center. Another secret passage. Now we can talk to this guard, we can roam around the rest of the castle, but we don't want to do that right now. We have a plan. So, one more time, see this brick section to our left, a little dot in the center, boop, secret passage. Now as we head across here, we see a shepherd outside, let's talk to him. We meet a grim shepherd. Uh, what's your name, grim shepherd? He's Landry. How's your health? He's fine, but thou must go back. Okay, um... What's your job? I am here to warn thee. Well, that's not good. Why are you going to warn us? Ahead lies a perilous place. Can you tell us about the perilous place? Once thou enters, thou may not return whence thee came. Wilt thou go on? Yes, we will. Then thou art doomed. Ah, we're not doomed. We're prepped. So we're going to go past him here. And here we have an entrance to a dungeon hidden away behind this door. Now, let's be honest. Done a little bit of cheating going in. Going into this. Done just a tiny bit of cheating. So what did I cheat? Well, if we look at our inventory, whoops. I went through and you'll notice that um, we have a ton of torches, gems, and keys. And I got us a bunch of Cure and Dispel spells, because I know we need them. Uh, and I should probably have gotten some Healing spells. I just realized I probably should have done that too, but it's too late. Let's move on. So we're going to jimmy this lock open. We're going to open this door. And we're going to head down into the dungeon. It's pitch black. We've descended the depths. The music has changed. Let's ignite a torch. 
look around. So I actually have a map of Hithloth, that, the one that comes in the clue book, and I'm looking at it right now, I can see that we have a down ladder right in front of us. Um, we also have the music may slow down here for a sec uh, as I turn down the speed on it. I'm going to scratch my ear. Sorry, folks. Really need to get a better microphone with a cough button. But looking on here, I'm just kind of looking at this map, and it's, it's kind of hard to figure out. Uh, it's really almost impossible for me to show it to you guys easily like the other map I have set up for the Outworld. But, looking through, there are possibly a bunch of trap doors whoop, around us behind these magical fields that you kind of see off in the distance glowing there. So, man, this is some kind of cool music. Uh... I don't know which way we're facing, so the only way I think we're going to be able to figure... Ooh, or we can't actually go through those fields. I think we're just out of luck. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go down this ladder. Let's just test this out. Let's go down. All right. We're in a little room. We're enclosed on all sides. I expected that. We're going to go down again. I don't see an exit to this... Oh, I think I do see the exit to the dungeon. It's on level 6. So we're on level 2. Let's go down to level 3. Alright, we're now on level 3. And if we look around here, we're still completely encased. So level 4. We're completely encased. Level 5. Same deal. Level 6. Central stair. Alright. How about level 7? Level 8! Okay. So level 8, woo! We can so finally look around and we can breathe. And what I can see is that there is an upward staircase that is going to get us from level 8 to level 7. And it's going to take us out in kind of the... I'm trying to think of a good word, way to describe this. It's going to have us pop out into level 7 in the south... Oh, goodness gracious, I wish I, I should set up to show you these guys these maps next time. Um, in the southwest corner of the map, if we get there correctly. So, it's either going to be this way or the other way. First, we're going to have to cast our Dispel spell. We'll have Grug cast Dispel. So we get rid of this field, and I can see now that there is kind of a door to our left. If I go through that door, okay, we do not want to go this way. I want to go this way. So we're going to cast. Let's just have Grug keep casting the spell. And if I look to the right, there should be some stairs. All right. Found a ladder. Climb up this ladder. And if I look to the right, there should be a wall if we go forward. Yes, so I'm going to go forward to that wall. Then I'm going to turn right, and I'm going to go to this wall, and then turn left, and I'm going to go up to the... Oh! Oh no! Oh, we've got bad things in front of us. We have a Reaper. Alright, well let's see what happens in this battle. Again, didn't bring a lot of healing spells with us, which we should have, because everyone's asleep. Okay. That's probably not the best. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's get lined up here and see if we can defeat this Reaper. Having these extra characters with us so that we can actually do things uh, while we're asleep is good. Alright, we killed that Reaper. I don't really need this chest, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go forward. And there's a door to our right here, which means I should be able to turn left and see a ladder up. So this should take us to level... Oh no, what is this? Why are we still asleep? Okay, it looks like this staircase blocks attacks. Oh, nope, never mind. You can move right through it. 
Why is everyone still asleep? This is my biggest concern right now. I did not expect everyone to still be lying on the floor taking a nap. So I think these are gremlins. And I think they can steal our food. Which we definitely don't want to happen. Uh, what do we kill? Yes, they are gremlins. Look at that. Kind of cute little gremlin hats, but don't want to mess with them if we can avoid it. Alright. Chewing through them, though, with our ranged attacks. Not doing too bad. Holding our own. Is this gremlin running? Oh, okay. He think he's running away. We'll just we'll let him go his way. Goodbye, gremlin. Oh, no. What is this attacking us? Are we being attacked by the darkness? Okay. Oh, it was a swarm of insects. Not too bad. Alright, so we're going to climb up to level 6 here. Let's go ahead and climb. And if we turn around, we should see a long corridor. Oh, and another Reaper. Look at this thing. Well, let's let it get to us. Or do we have to walk into it? I guess we have to go into it. Oh my goodness. This is silliness. All right. We appear to be asleep again. And taking a little bit of damage. Nothing too terrible. I guess we'll just need to line up so we can attack. Uh, I mean, they're casting their sleep spells, and they're doing... A little bit of damage each time they attack, but it's not that impressive. Although it is starting to pile up, I'll tell you what. Oh, this is terrible. We should definitely have brought some sleep spells with us. I mean, some healing spells. Oh, goodness. Alright, Reapers. This is this is no longer entertaining to have you do this to us. Oh no. Alright. We'll just keep attacking with our our meager weapons. This is quite a dangerous dungeon we have uh, come into. I think this has proven that uh, we are definitely not ready. Or nearly as ready as I thought we were. To reach into the uh, depths of some of the other dungeons. Holy moly. And the worst part is, oh, these things are no pushover. They just, they don't die like we'd hope they would. All right, let's get lined up so we can actually attack. Whoop. Come on, Reapers. Oh, I am not lined up at all. And I keep not paying attention to who's selected. Oh, more sleep spells. We thank you for that, Mr. Reapers. Come on, guys. Okay, there we go. We're making progress. Ah, oh, we're asleep again. Luckily, being trees, it looks like they can't really move about the battlefield too much to give us ample time to get limed up and attack them. Ooh. All right, you stay there. Should have moved her north, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh, stop casting that sleep spell. things are the worst. I would like to... Oh, these are worse than the, uh... The flying pterodactyl things in... Uh, 
the Elder Scrolls games. Goodness gracious. Well, let's hope we don't have to fight a lot of those, because we're already hurting up and down the board there, if you look at our health on the right. All right, let's take a moment and figure out what the heck we're doing here. So I'm just going to look at my map for a second. We're on level six. And I see some traps I have to cross. I'm assuming those are traps. And then I see what's... And then what's either is the exit. Or death. I'm not sure. We will find out. Let's see what happens. Alright, we're gonna go forward, turn right. Oh, you've got to be joking me. Okay. Woo! Just one of them. I can deal with that. Hopefully, I can deal with that. Come on, team. Put it down. Very slowly making our way there. All right, we'll just we'll just spam our attacks. Okay. So if I go inside this door, oh, it's a combat room. Okay. Well, it looks like we have one of them weird squid things in the middle. A couple Ettons, a couple Cyclops, a couple Orc Mages, and some Orcs. And I took too long to take my turn. Uh, let's do this. Let's let them come to us. Uh, a Zorn, that's what those are called. I had forgotten. Alright, let's work on the Zorn first. And I think we'll just present, like, a, uh, just a firing line here. And anything that wants to come at us will have to walk through this line of fire that we're just going to spit out in front of us. Now, the only problem is, I'm not sure where the exit is to this room. Do we have to look for a secret exit to get out of here? Or do we just have to kill all the monsters to get out of this room as well? I have no idea how the dungeons work in this game. Again, I've never played through this all the way, so... We'll keep firing our ranged weapons here. And as I'm firing them, I'm also kind of looking around to see if I can't see a... Uh, A way to move. Alright, let's move down a bit with everybody. Maybe after we kill the Ettons uh, in the Cyclopes that are there. Cyclopes? What, what is the correct term? Cyclopses? Um, Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, come get us, Ettons. Hopefully you can't hear too much clicking on the keyboard as I furiously attack with our ranged weapons. You're going down. Almost done with all the monsters. Let's see what happens when we finish these guys off. Alright, so we're now in a room where there's nothing that can kill us. Hopefully. So where do we go? Do we have to find a secret exit? I'm just kind of combing the outside of the map, looking to see if I see one of those areas that has the little dot in the middle of the brick. But I don't see it. And what doesn't make sense to me is that we entered this room from the south, but the 
entrance, as you can see in the room we're looking at, is obviously up in the north. Hmm. Let's see. Nope, none of those definitely look like anything. Well, let's try... What happens if we leave? Where do we wind up? All right. So here we are looking directly at that door. And if we re-enter, it's the same room of death. Well, folks, this is upsetting. Because I have no idea what to do. There's got to be a secret exit somewhere here. Um, we already killed this Zorn once. I guess we'll just have to march around the room and look for secret doors? I mean, we just honestly don't have a lot of options. Hmm. I came in this room, and again, we came in from the south, according to the map I'm looking at. That means that I would want to go off to the right of my characters to go to the rest of the room area that I can see. So, is there a secret door over there somewhere? I just don't see it. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's move everybody down a bit here. I don't know how we got our formation broken, probably because I was not paying attention. There we go. Alright. So I'm gonna guess the only thing we can do is look for a secret door. I hate to keep saying that, folks, but... Or, do we have to step on a tile to open a door? Is it gonna be one of those, like... There's a switch puzzle somewhere with one of those treasure chests? I hope not. Here, we'll send, uh... Send Dupre off on his way here. And we'll see what happens when he gets over to that chest. Wish I had thought to do that before when everything was dead. And this would have gone much faster. Because we could just pass these turns instead of having to worry about fighting orcs and ettins and such. And if this etten doesn't get over here to fight us, I'm going to get kind of upset in a minute. Alright, so we stepped on this. Nothing happened. I'm going to send a brave adventurer, probably Shamino, um, through the doorway here. What happens if we get this chest? Eh, hey, of course, it was an acid trap. Why wouldn't it be an acid trap? Did anything change on the map? No, not that I can tell. Alright. Come on, Etten. Etten, do you want to come down and fight? Who's taking damage? That was weird. Here he comes. He got We got him down one level. Come on, Etten. Get down here. Come on. Chase us. Oh my goodness, Etten, seriously. Alright. Shamino, get up there. There we go. Let's see if this does the trick. There he goes. So, alright, the Etten is dead. Let's send some people in every direction possible. See what we can find. Probably best if we only send people that can cast spells to get these chests in case they get poisoned along the way. So, Jaina, 
We'll send you down there in a minute. Grug, get going. Nothing happening here. Jeffrey, get out of the way. You two. Maria, you stay there. Jaina, head on down. All right. Uh, oh, I forgot he hadn't got the chest yet. Hard to keep track of eight separate, disparate characters. Let's get the chest. Holds 35 gold, nothing happened, okay. I know somebody out there who has played this game to death and knows the dungeons by heart is probably screaming their head off right now. Sorry about my inexperience here. Alright. So let's get this chest here. 21 gold. That doesn't help. And still nothing has opened up. Alright. Oh! There we go. Look at that. Secret door off to the right like I thought it would be for us to go. Okay. So I guess we have to head out that way. It'll take just a moment to get everybody corralled over there. And not get too confused with my fingers while I do it here. Oh, it's a long way to walk. I don't think people signed up for this when they uh, signed up for my adventuring crew. Long and exciting walks inside of empty dungeon rooms, probably not on the pamphlet. Right. There's a couple people out the door. Alright. Oh, I went the wrong way with a couple people there. That's just... Imprecise is what that is. There we go. Woo! Oh, come on. Alright. Alright. We are in the next room over. What are we at? 27 minutes? We're gonna wipe these mages out here. So I scratch my ear again. Sorry for all the noise happening on the headset, but here we go. Let's see if we can't wipe these mages out real quick. And then we'll move our party off to the left here. Get lined up for some shots. Let's see if we can't quickly take them out. Oh, look at that one chest. I didn't notice that at first, but... You see that chest on the left-hand side? It looks like it might actually be a monster, because it's got eyeballs that are moving around underneath the lid. That's pretty great. Alright, come on. More hitting the mages and less missing. Or is it all being blocked by this field? It's all being blocked by this field. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to get up here. Oh, we've done this wrong. Um, you. I need my tinkerer to move out of the way. This is getting a little fiddly as far as party management goes because our fighter is in a place that doesn't help us at all. There we go. So, cast, dispel. Alright. Cast, dispel. Alright, can we actually kill these mages now? I hope we can. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. Come on, mage. Come on. Oh, they're all dead. Sorry, I was looking at the map. Woo! Alright. Ah, 
Yes. So we can attack the Mimic as well. With our ranged weapons, which is good. Oh! He's getting a little angry. He's flashing his mean Mimic eyes at us. Luckily, through the powers of observation, we didn't just walk on top of him and try to open him. There we go. Alright, we'll just go nuts here attacking him with our uh, weaponry. Is he dead? I guess he is. Let's see what happens. Yep, alright, he is dead. So let's get what's there. 87 gold. Not bad. Then let's get the heck out of Dodge. In fact, there's no reason for us to even mess with that other treasure chest and attempt fate in this super long 30 minute episode of Ultima 4. I'm going to rename how to improperly dungeoneer in this game. Oh, come on. That's a number of mimic. Yep, we're not going to mess with him. We are just going to get out of here. Is going to be the plan. Rug needs to be the last one to leave because he is the person going for Avatar Hood. So he needs to be valorious and not run first before anybody else. As we get away. Alright, Grug. Alright, last room, I think. I think the last room we have to go in. But we do have a Reaper who is going to try and put us to sleep, so... Did that Reaper just move? Oh, oh, these are Wisps, I guess? Maybe the sparkly... ...things there are an enemy of some type? Can't tell. Oh, no. Well, this is the worst. If you notice, one of those sparkly monsters got right next to us, which I'm sure is not good. But luckily it died. Uh, yes, it was a wisp. Okay. I guessed correctly. Oh, well, there's that dreaded sleep spell. We knew it was coming eventually. Ooh. Come on, guys. Alright, the Reaper's dead. No more sleep spells to worry about. Now we just gotta get on bunched up here so we can actually attack. Now we just kill these Wisps real quick. And then we make our way... Whoop! Now we just gotta make our way out. Uh, Grug, you're gonna have to wait a minute, of course. We don't want you leaving first. Especially not before our sleeping friend up there in the north wakes up. I keep rushing on the keyboard and it keeps causing me to, uh... What was that? Did Dupre just get poisoned? Oh, Dupre, okay. I didn't realize Dupre was poisoned. Let's cast that on Dupre. Get him depoisonified. Ah, Jeff is awake finally. I'm getting, oh, the Mimics must be doing it. Oh, okay. Well, let's get out of here. Let's get as far away as we can. Come on, guys. I sense the end is near. 
I'm praying the end of this dungeon is near. Come on. Everybody out. Alright, there goes one. Uh, let's have Grug de-poison himself here. There we go. Alright, our shepherd is out. There we go. Alright. Now, if I go straight and then turn right, and there should be a set of downstairs right in front of us. Oh, of course there's a gremlin. Or is that an upstair? Did we just go in a big circle? No. No, that wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be fair at all. Level 5? Where are we on level 5? Oh, no. Alright, well, folks. We are here on level 5. And we have a whole bunch of combat rooms we still have to go through. According to what I'm seeing, if I go through this door, it's going to be another combat room. And then two more combat rooms. And then we have a choice of stairs to take. But I don't know where they're going to pop us up. And I have no idea where we are. So folks, this has been an adventure in this dungeon. But, we are probably going to have to end the episode here and when we return we'll continue going through Hithloth until we die or find the exit so folks thanks for watching we hope to see you soon oh I'm so confused now for this tell your friends and as always we hope to see you soon <laughs>